help. I keep losing fish. They do jump out of my opened up lenta tank. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, why we lose fish and why they jump out of our aquascapes. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Getting scared is reason number one why we keep seeing dried out fish in front of our planted tanks that uh, do not have a lid. Why do fish get scared? Reason number one of them being scared is light. Most of our lights above our planted tanks are not dimmable. They don't have a dimmer, which means that uh, when you switch the light on, it's gonna come on instantaneously, suddenly, and imagine yourself in having a good night of sleep, and then you're in the middle of a stadium, and then suddenly all oh, the stadium lights will come on, and you're just gonna be so startled by the sudden influx of the huge light that is hitting you. Obviously, you're gonna be scared, right? So this is what happens to fish if we switch on that huge and strong lighting that we have above our planted tanks instantaneously. So what should you do if uh, you want to avoid this? Obviously you can exchange your light for one that has a dimmer, or if you cannot do that, well, you should like work on your fish selection. The fish that are most prone to be lost by, by jumping out are the ones that would live or would swim at the top region of your planted tank. And uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the species that uh, are known to be big jumpers. <laughs> One of them is the white clowned mountain minnow. We're gonna list those fish in the description as well. Uh, we tend to lose a lot of these little beautiful fish actually because the fish that would swim on the top of your planted tank would probably get more chance of jumping out than the ones that would uh, swim at the bottom. Another type of fish are the rainbow fish, and there are many types of rainbow fish, the bozemani, pashkai, threadfin, getrude, forktail, otherwise known as furcata. So most of these fish are living at the top region of your planted tank. Then comes the three species of hatchet fish that uh, are known also to be jumpers. We don't really use them in planted tanks for that reason. I've seen people using them. Well, it's, it's something that is a risk. Butterfly fish, on the other hand, are also known to be jumpers. And the last species that I want to mention here is the uh, spraying karachin, the Copella arnoldi. Well, that is a really cool fish because they do jump out in nature. Uh, on top of the leaves that are above the plant, the tank, not the tank, the, the water that they live in, and they lay eggs there. And then later, they would like spit from the tank to keep, the, to keep these uh, actually moist. It's really funny. Obviously, you can put a lid on the top of the tank, but then you would not be able to have the water as, as a part of your living habitat, <laughs> your living room. Basically, another reason why fish would jump out is their behavior. Obviously, they will start chasing each other, and then when you, they do that, uh, while they flee from each other, they would look for an escape route, so they would jump out, and, and if they're not lucky, and this jump happens at uh, the side glass, near the side glass of the tank or the front glass, they would just jump out uh, while they're fleeing from each other. When you have a community tank and then you have different types of fish, for example, you have fish that are known to be more aggressive, together with fish that are known to be more peaceful, those that, that have a more aggressive behavior would obviously stress and scare those fish that are more peaceful, who would suddenly flee, and then you would have the catastrophe waiting to happen. All right, so fish selection is something that you need to be aware of when uh, you actually uh, build your planted tank. Okay, speaking of building, there's something that is not taken into consideration some of the times, is that when you have a hardscape that stretches near the surface, so you just have a very thin layer of water in between the top of the hardscape and the water level, then you have a big problem because there's no swimming space there and obviously when you kind of send these little fish into a, a, a smaller area, they would just want to get out of that area, is especially if they're stressed for some reason. So that's that's when they will start jumping. A 
okay, so what can you do in order to avoid fish jumping out at night, which is a big problem usually. The thing is that most aquascapers, even if they have a dimmable light, do not take the ambient light into consideration. So for example, if you switch on the light of your room, just walk into the living room, you switch on the living room lights while the tank lights are off, will cause the same reaction to the fish, like you would switch on aquarium lights. So the fish would start to, to you know, flee because they, they never have these sudden changes in nature. Or it's a problem when you have some light coming in onto the tank and then you walk in front of the tank and then you block that light for a second. That's also a big problem for the fish. They sense the movement, they think that a predator is coming, they sense the change of light, they also think that somebody's gonna come and eat them, so they will start to flee. Uh, talking about uh, the uh, environment, having an uneven floor, it's also a big problem because if this whole structure, your aquarium, will start to be wobbly, then when you step on a, on a, on a, like a bad tile or something, then the, the, the aquarium starts to move and that vibration is also causing the fish to be stressed. Our experience tells us that uh, there are certain fish that uh, get more scary get scared, not scary, when they grow up. One of them is the uh, Siamese edge eater. The other one is the silver flying fox. Well, we tend to lose them sometimes when they like grow. For some reason, they get you know more frustrated. Isn't that happening to all of us? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay, another species that we, we tend to have problems with is the uh, Corridor species, because these guys live at the bottom, but sometimes they just do come up to the surface to, to, for some air, which is a normal behavior in their case. But uh, if the aquarium is small, or if they just take a big run at the surface, sometimes they tend to jump out. We don't know why that is, it just happens. So this leads to the, the other consideration. So how much should you fill up your tank? Obviously, the ideal would be like five centimeters. Most of our planted tanks is, is not suitable for having five centimeters in between the water surface and the rim of the tank because of the construction of the lily pipes would not let you do this. Uh, you don't want the lily pipe to stir the surface. So, so you should fill up the tank at least to the level where the lily pipe is submerged so it gently moves the surface and not, not breaks it. So that's a big problem. So I would say like having two, maybe three centimeters of distance between the open top, the rim, and the water level is ideal. I have to admit that here at Green Aqua, I'm just pushing the guys to fill up the tanks as much as possible. So we usually have one or one and a half centimeters to the top of the tank, which is not something that I would say that is, is by the book. Another problem that we frequently see is that uh, the flow is too strong. And if the flow is too strong in your planted tank, then uh, you have a problem when the fish will swim into the flow. When they do that and the flow will just, you know, catapult them, they would just jump out of the aquarium with the flow. So they will use the flow to, to you know, play with the flow and, and just jump out because of that. So that's not something that you can, you know, avoid. A good thing that you could do is to have the lily pipe towards the mid middle of the side glass, if you know what I mean. So don't put the lily pipe too much to the to the back or to the front, because then the chance of the fish jumping out uh, along the back pane or the front panel of the tank is not as high as uh, as you know they just being pushed out towards the center of the tank and they would fall back into the water. So that's something that uh, you should uh, take care of. Another thing that is also a big problem is when, when you don't choose the fish suitable for the size of the tank that you have. So if you, the fish are too big for your tank, they don't have enough swimming space and then they would start, you know, trying to experiment and jumping out and that's, that's when you have a big problem. That's a problem with the betta fish, for example. If you keep the betta fish in a very small, like a 10 liter tank or 20 liter tank maybe, 
that's also a big problem because they don't have enough space and also they tend to sometimes stay at the top and that's why some people are complaining about losing their beta to, uh, to jumping. All right, so there's another thing that needs to be mentioned and that is the maintenance stress. Obviously, when you change the water, that is not a problem because the water level is lower, but when you kind of trim the plants or you just stick your hands into the tank and, and do something with the tank filled up, then obviously you would stress the fish so you could actually see some fish jumping out. Good thing is that when they do jump out, you can sometimes just catch them. I did that with my, my, my right hand was in the tank and I catched them with my left hand and just put it back. There are special types of fish like cichlids or gouramis. When they do lay eggs or when they, the eggs would hatch, then they would start to chase other fish and, and that's, that's also a source of stress. So you should be aware when you have a pair of these fish or more of, of these fish in your tank. All right, so what can you do in order to, to not have fish jumping out of your tank? First of all, get a dimmer for your light if you don't have that. Be careful at night because you don't want the, uh, the, the light, the uh, ambient light or the light from next room to hit the aquarium. Don't cross the aquarium, cover the aquarium, whatever you can. Don't overfill the tank. Choose the suitable fish for the tank. I think that's it. If you take care of these four things, you will have much, much less trouble in your aquarium life. With that said, you will have some fish jumping out if you have an open top tank. That's not avoidable, but the number of the fish that jump out will be quite manageable. So you will only lose a couple of fish in many years of your successful aquarium hobby life. All right, so I really hope that you liked this video. We'll see you on Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe, to hit that bell button, to support us with the video production, etc. Cheers.